Welcome to the Celebrity Spot. I'm your host, Lori G. And welcome to my holiday episode. I'm so excited. Let's get started with Lori's favorites. First topic I want to talk about is this video I saw of this father reuniting with his Down syndrome son after the son went on a trip for the first time alone. And it just shows that love is real and love has many forms. That's why I made a collection with the same name, Love is Real, in my store to show that it's very important to have love, especially in this time. Not only it's the season of giving, but it's also the season of giving love. So if you're interested in seeing the video, the link will be down below. The next story I want to talk about is about Justin Timberlake donating this special accessible wheelchair van to this very deserving young teenager named Jack Jack Stiff. And he has cerebral palsy, just like me. And it just shows that it doesn't matter if you're a famous person or not you can give from your heart so if you're interested the link will be down below now i'm excited to talk about all things the holiday season i have some activities that you might be interested in for example i'm planning on making sugar cookies with my family and making homemade ornaments i've never made homemade ornaments so wish me good luck i'll definitely post some pictures Hopefully I won't break anything or mess up anything, but as long as you're having fun, that's what counts. I'm also going to make gingerbread houses with my siblings. That's going to be so much fun. I'm very competitive, so maybe we'll make it into a competition or something. To put you in the holiday mood, I made an entire list of holiday movies and Christmas movies that you can watch. I'll name my first pick because there's a lot of variety in this list so I can't name them all but they're up to par, don't worry. I'm very picky about my holiday movies so they're very highly qualified. The first one I picked was this movie called Christmas Ever After with Ali Stoker. It's a romantic comedy and it shows that people with disabilities not only can do dramatic roles, but they can do many other roles like comedy and action, which I love because Hollywood only saw them as dramatic, but I always enjoy seeing people with disabilities in different storylines, not only in one type of storyline, which I enjoy. So if you're interested, the link will be down below with all the other movies I recommend. Now, if you don't have any gift ideas for anyone in your family or your significant other, I got you covered. Down below in the description box, I created an entire list of ideas. That One of my favorite things on this list for couples are making your own children's book about your love story. It's so adorable. And I always think making something that no one else has thought of is so unique and so thoughtful. Another idea is to get their favorite perfume or their favorite cologne. And for your parents, you can also get a gift card from their favorite store. Or for your dad, you can get a wallet engraved with a little message from you. I think that's adorable. So the rest of the list will be down below if you're interested. Now I want to talk about couples news. One of my favorite couples, Ming and Trainer, and her husband, Daryl, from 
Spy Kids are having their first child together, which I'm really excited about. And they just announced the sex of the baby, and it's going to be a boy, which I'm really excited about. I can already tell that that baby is going to be so much fun and so loved in that family. The second couple welcoming a baby is Frankie Muniz and his wife. They're also expecting a boy. So congratulations to them. The third couple expecting their third child is Bethany Hamilton and her husband. They don't know the sex yet. I think they want it to be a surprise, which I'm really excited about. My personal opinion, I think it's a girl because she really wants it to be a girl. But if it's a boy, I think she'll be happy with it too. So I wish nothing but the best for all those couples. Now I want to tell you my New Year's Eve plans. I got these special tickets for my family to see KISS in a virtual concert, which I'm really excited about. I've never seen KISS live before, and my dad's a big fan of the KISS band, so I can't wait for that. We also might do fireworks in the backyard. If you're interested, I also made special New Year's Eve shirts in my store, so please check it out. I worked really hard on them. <laughs> Let me know what your New Year's Eve resolutions are and your traditions with your family are going to be. Are you going to eat 12 grapes or are you going to make a bucket list? Let me know down below in the description box. Now I would like to take the time to wish my dog Missy a happy early birthday. She'll be turning 13 in January. I'm super excited for her birthday. She's always been my partner in crime. I even bought her something special from my store. I'll take a picture of her wearing it when it comes in. And now I would like to take the time to thank everyone for listening and have a great holiday and happy new year and I hope you enjoy this time with family and your loved ones. Before I forget, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will take a little hiatus in January, so don't be scared if you hear nothing from me. I will come back just in time for Valentine's Day. I have so many surprises in store for that episode, so keep in the lookout for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. With that being said, this has been The Celebrity Spot. I'm your host, Lori G. Happy holidays and Happy New Year! Tune in to The Celebrity Spot. I like that! With your host, Lori G. Totally. This is where celebrity fanatics rejoice. Yeah.